Hello, this is John back again with another product review. This is going to be another product review of something that was advertised to me on social media. And usually if something is advertised to me enough times that, and I have some mild interest at least in it, then I tend to buy it and review it. And today, that review is this product. It's called Maku. Maku is a play on the words of Makuli, and that's, I spell it there, Makuli. It's a Korean rice beer. They call it a beer. If you look at the Wikipedia, it's called a rice wine. Um, typically, it is around 6 to 9% alcohol by volume. This one is 6%. Um, comes in four flavors. Original which is what I'm going to do today. Um, but also mango, blueberry, and passion fruit for th this company anyway, Maku. Um, it's brewed in Korea, and it's where it says born in New York City, brewed in Korea. Probably the company's from New York, but they went out to Korea to brew it because of its Korean drink. Um, anyway, this is a slightly uh, filtered, um, rice wine so it has a lot of rice sediment in it so it says you're supposed to give it a light shake before you pour it just to get the rice sediment kind of mixed up in there but there is a slight fizz in this so you don't want to shake it up too much let's hope that I got right in the middle then let's pour into this glass As you can see, it is a very milky white beverage. And if there is any fizz in here, it's not really noticeable. But here you go. It's supposed to have like a tart, um, almost yogurty taste, but there's no dairy in here. It is just a uh, rice milk that's been fermented. Makuli is noted as being the oldest form of alcohol from Korea. Um, if you've seen a different video of mine where I did a ramen that was also uh, cross branded with a brand of soju or so sochu I think it was which is a Korean rice wine as well so I'm not sure what like the diff I know well that one is higher alcohol, um, but Makuli, or in this case the brand Maku, it's very similar to that. Without further ado, let's taste it. Hmm, there's definitely a texture to this. You can see like there's definitely some solids in there. The flavor is slightly tart. Definitely you get that like grainy ricey flavor to it. Um there's no like I said, this one's the original. They also have blueberry, mango, and passion fruit. On their website, they do have suggestions for mocktails, and the mocktails all use the uh, original flavor. They have a pumpkin spice latte, which you add bourbon and pumpkin spice to. They have a mint matcha, which you add mint, lime, and matcha and gin. And they have a horchata one, which you add horchata syrup to. The horchata one sounds interesting just because, like, horchata is a rice drink. Anyway, this is not bad. It's interesting that they call them mocktails online because 
Typically when you see a mocktail, you're talking about something that does not have alcohol in it. And this does have alcohol in it. Like I said, 6%. I like this. It almost gives you a horchata-like sensation. Anyway, that's the review for Maku. Right there. Um, I only know that you can buy this online. Um, I have never seen it in stores. The website does not say that I found that it's in stores anywhere. But uh, as a bonus to this video, I'm just going to add this real quick. Cause this is my lunch today. This is sriracha ramen noodle soup lobster flavor. And I'm pretty sure there's no actual lobster in the ingredients. I looked over it. It doesn't. It says artificially flavored. But uh, this is not going to be like a real review because I've doctored this up because it's my lunch. It's not supposed to be a review of the noodles per se. Got some kimchi, some cheese, some steak in here. It's just some leftovers, really. But I will give it a taste for, just for you right now. It's really tasty. Maybe because all the stuff I put on top of it, but it does have a a seafoody quality to it. And the noodles in here. They have a really good chew to them. And this is by brand Aces, FYI. Anyway. That's what I'm going to review. A good bowl of sriracha ramen noodles and a good glass of maku. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. So long.